I do think that it is a jolt to the legal system when you overrule a precedent. Uh, precedent plays an important role in promoting stability and even-handedness. It is not enough, and the court has emphasized this on several occasions, it is not enough that you may think the prior decision was wrongly decided. 38 cases where uh, Roe has been, has been taken up. Uh, would you think that uh, Roe might be a super duper precedent in light of in light of 38 occasions to uh, overrule it? Nothing in my personal views based on faith or other uh, sources uh, that would prevent me from applying the precedence of the court faithfully under principles of stare decisis. Do you believe that the president has a commander-in-chief override to authorize or excuse the use of torture and interrogation of enemy prisoners even though there may be domestic and international laws prohibiting these specific practice? Senator, I believe that no one is above the law under our, under our system, and that includes the president. The president is fully bound by the law, uh, the Constitution, and statutes. Do you feel that you'd be able to interpret the Bill of Rights the same, whether we're in wartime or not? I do, Senator. The obligation of the court to protect those basic liberties in times of peace and in times of war, in times of stress and in times of calm, uh, that doesn't change. Judge Roberts, in an October 3, 1983 memo, you wrote that while you served as Associate White House Counsel for the Reagan administration, you expressed support for judicial term limits. You did specifically support the idea of limiting judicial terms to 15 years, and you said, I quote, to ensure that federal judges would not lose all touch with reality through decades of ivory tower existence, unquote. And do you still support, in theory, the idea of judicial term limits? You know, that would be one of those uh, memos that I no longer agree with, uh, Senator. Um, I feel the need to stay away from a discussion of particular cases. Senator, I, I don't want to answer a particular hypothetical. Well, uh, that is in an area where I think I should not respond. Justice O'Connor took the same position. She was asked about a particular uh, case. Judge, judge, she judge, said judge, it's not correct time. for me to comment. Now, there's a reason for that. From the wait, wait, wait a minute, Senator Biden. He's not finished his it's, answer. He's filibustering, sir. But okay, uh, go ahead. No, he's not. We, no, it's that's not. A, we that's go a, ahead that's and do a that. bad word, Senator. That's what we do, too. <laughs> go ahead. Go, go ahead and continue not to answer. As promised, Washington.